What's up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be doing my first, first ever, first ever reaction video to Yeba's Dawn, her debut album. I've been waiting for this project for a long time. Um, every, ever since I heard Evergreen, I've been like looking for more music from her. So uh, the project is finally out. Um, and we're just gonna sit here and listen to it, break it down, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'm gonna give you guys my overall score towards the end. So let's just jump right into it because we have 12 songs to break down. All right, so the first song is called How Many Years? And for me, the intro is extremely, extremely important because um, it's what brings me into the project and makes me wanna listen to the whole album all the way through. So we're just gonna see how it goes and how it sounds. So here we go. so good. So right now, so far, this is giving me like, like very, like a very crisp morning. You're just driving, you pop this on. It just gives that like the sun is on the horizon type vibe. Um, it's not, it's not for me like 12 p.m. Uh, like 12 p.m. driving. It's almost, it's almost morning, and you could tell by her voice. It's almost like you still kind of gotta be quiet. But here we go. Let's continue. Man, oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. But I will say one of uh, the vibe that she gives me right right off the back is um Janae, um Janelle Monet. Um she has that same unique sound. Uh the ending of her runs and, and things like that just remind me a little bit of Janelle's. Um now Yebas is a little bit better and stronger, but just even the sound, it gives that uh, Janelle Monet vibe, if that makes sense. So let's continue. Very similar to Janelle. Mm. This this sounds so like oh man, this sounds like drinking a tall glass of apple juice. I'm trying to tell you guys. It this sounds really good. The count is like it's not a regular 4-4. I'm not even gonna try to guess at that count. I just know that is not a 4-4. Um, count so it just gives more anticipation like okay what's next almost um, it's almost like it's almost like you're like exploring a new world almost with this sound like oh sounds so good
synths always get me. Synths and these crazy weird progressions and uh, counts always get me. It always gets me. Man, that sounds really good. This one is called Stan. This is the second track. She already fooling. You can already tell this about to be. She about to show y'all what she what she about with this uh, with these runs and her uh, breath control and everything. You could just hear it. You could just hear it in the beginning. So let's go. So don't you make me say it one more time. Like I already told you guys, this is track two. And like so far, one and two is extremely solid. It's a solid two songs already. It's making me excited for what else she has on here. I'm telling you. So far, so good. Oh man, so far, so good. She finally brought in some drums with this, uh, with this song. So it's not like a sleepy type of, uh, you know, it's not like a, it's not. I mean, you could go to sleep to it, obviously. If you go to sleep to any music, but uh, it, it livens it up a little bit, you know. And that's the thing with, with for me personally with um, intros like. They can start out any way. I'm always open to however they're going to start. It just has to be good. It has to sound good. It just has to sound really good. Can you stand the pain, pain, baby? Can you? 
solid, pretty solid so far. I mean, we're only on track two, so I'm not even gonna try to get too far ahead of myself. So this is the third track, this is called Boomerang. I think this was released as a single already. Okay, wait, let me stop that really quick. Let me just let you guys know too, when you're creating an album, it's by the third or fourth song, it's okay to venture off into um, a different type of sound from the other two, which is what she, exactly what she's doing. I felt like, you know, um, that essentially the first two was like the buns it was like the buns to a double cheeseburger. Um, and then now you're getting into the more vegetables, a little bit more uh, poppier type of sounds, radio hits. Like I said, this is a single uh, already. So it has that sound a little bit and I'm not mad at it uh, so far, you know, but let's listen to the lyrics real quick. See, what I like about her uh, three songs already is like she's she always lets the end breathe a little bit. That sounds good. Sounds good. This is all I ever wanted. Track four. I gotta pause this really quick. We already know I'm a guitarist, guys. I'm a sucker for guitars. If you're playing like this in the beginning of the song, you already got me, but let's continue. Okay, I really didn't know where the ending was going to go, like where that was going, but yeah. Woo! Got it. I gotta run that back. I gotta run that back. 
say there's nothing there's nothing to say there's absolutely nothing to say with but she's doing it she's saying everything let me if, if you have if you're gonna say it let me just let me just press play she gives the songs time to just breathe That's track four, guys. That's track four. I'm trying to tell you. Like, it's 12 songs, one through four. Well, I would say uh, I could understand Boomerang. It's not necessarily for me. It sounds good, but it's not one of my go-tos. But so far, like, three of the songs are, like, day-to-day -day joints for me right now, honestly. Um, the next one is called Far Away with ASAP Rocky. Let's hear this one. Take my chances Hit another blow Watch the embers burn away Oh, a double go I'm dirty dancing What am I running from When I run so far away It just gives me quest vi uh, quest love vibes. I just wanna, I'm gonna let this play, but I'm gonna do some research to see who this is. I bet it's quest love. Just the way he came is just like giving like dope D'Angelo vibes with this one. But let's continue. pausing it just because I was right. Um, Mark Ronson actually produced it and Yeba produced it as well, but it's, it shows that uh, Quest Love was actually on the drum. So I just wanted to give you guys that quick little fact. Just make you move. This one just make you move. Oh, yeah. 
was really dope. I was I was trying to figure out how they were gonna incorporate ASAP Rocky in a you know in a vibe like this, or if he was gonna have like if the beat was gonna change. But that was kind of that was a dope fusion where the song I meant the beat essentially changed, but not not so much. Like it still it it literally infused both of them together perfectly. tell you guys i'm just i mean you throw some synths some nice like a nice little drum pocket guitar you got me you got me i'm telling you That was crazy. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. So the next track is called Dawn. It's an interlude. We could just go past that. That's about, uh, it's about nine seconds away from being done. We could go past that and the next is October Sky. So we'll let's hear this one. Down the hall in a socks and yeah, I'll come outside. Again with the guitar. To somebody, uh, her brother that passed, I'm assuming, but. Okay, now she fooling. She about to start fooling. You can tell. You can just tell when somebody they do they do the first run, and then they coming back around with that next one, especially like those singer singers. So actually, I want to correct myself. I said that it was about her brother that might have passed. Like the way the first verse sounded, it seemed like that's what might have happened. But um, I'm reading like the it says a softly as the um, as the softly stunning and loving lovingly detailed centerpiece to dawn. October skies builds a quiet symphony around a particular potent memory of Yeba's mother. A high school science teacher who see who sometimes, uh, who sometimes brought home the bottle rockets her students had con constructed. From that first verse, I didn't necessarily get that, but let's continue to uh, listen to it. Beautiful. Man, this is so beautiful. Thank you. 
called Louis Bad. This has been out for a little while too, but this sounds really good. sometimes I don't like the singles but then like when I listen to it um in sequence of the album it sounds so much better and this song definitely sounds so much better uh in sequence of the whole album this just give you almost all type of different sounds symphonies um like neo soul I mean I mean for what it's worth Apple Music is uh, saying that this is an alternative album. I couldn't agree more because it's just give you a spectrum of music. It's no specific genre that I could really, maybe R&B or Neo Soul. Um, that's the closest, you know, that I could kind of, if I had to box it in and put it in a category, it would be probably R&B, honestly. But, yeah. <laughs> really dope. This one's called One More Smile. This was Erica Badu, so that's why I just had to look it up really quick. That was really dope. This is called Love Came Down. the sound of it so far i wasn't expecting it to be so aggressive especially from everything else from the project not a bad thing at all it just surprised me i mean i like it so far it's 34 seconds in what it's worth this song this song is pretty good i mean it's not one of my it wouldn't be one of my go-tos, but I mean, it sounds really good. I mean, it's a little bit out of her comfort zone, it seems like, um, but not bad. This one is called Distance. because I have to uh, shout out uh, Dixon. 
Uh, he actually was actually uh, on this project. And I thought one of the earlier songs, it reminded me of uh, one of his songs that he has. If you haven't checked him out, he is really dope. Uh, his name is spelled D-I-X-S-O-N. Really, really dope artist. Um, so yeah, check him out. He, he went by another name before. Now he's going by uh, just Dixon. So uh, check him out, though. The, especially that it's an album that came out in 2018. It's called Young Dixon. Fire. 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 Actually, I may play that. May I may play one song off of that after this. After this project. Just to give you guys some type of you know, a little sneak peek into, you know, what he does. He's really, really good, but he's doing background vocals on this one. Tell you, tall glass of apple juice after you've been in the sun playing with your friends. That's what this sounds like. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is what I like. I mean, you know, like I said, it goes back to, let me pause it. It goes back to uh, uh, Love Came Down and then That Distance. Two different songs. She's more in her pocket with this one. Now, granted, you know, I'm assuming for her to go to that next level, she is going to have to cross over. So Love Came Down is a really good introduction to that, I would say. This one's called Paranoia Purple. It's the last song on this project. Honestly, that's what I enjoy the most about Yeva. Like, essentially, the guitar is doing the same thing for the whole song, but she'll she'll just switch it up so dramatically. Like, where your mind feel like it should end, she'll do a run to make it. Like, if it's going in a straight line, her run will make it to get over here. Like. She's she's really talented. Like her voice to me is like almost just an instrument in itself. Again, again, that that's Janelle Monet. Like that's Janelle Monet. If I if I never heard it before, like I said, it's not as strong as Yeba. Yeba has a uh, very strong voice control, but this sounds like um, uh, what song is that? This sounds this sounds like uh, Janelle Monet's. Um, uh, I think it's a. Uh, let's see. Let's look it up here for you guys. Uh, it's on the Arch Android um, song album. It's five seven eight two one featuring Deep Cotton. That's what it. That's what this sounds like. And actually, might as well let you guys hear that just so you guys can hear the difference. Let me play this back a little bit. Push this back. Okay. So this is Yeba. Ooh. It's 
almost mind boggling that they sound that similar. So, uh, this is Janelle Monet. They sound very similar, as you can hear. But anyway, it's not about Janelle Monae. Let's get back to Yabba. That part, that. Oh, that. Gotta love it. But let's go back to uh, Paranoia. So that's all 12 songs. Um, Overall, I have to give this project a 9.5, if not 10. I feel like uh, Love Came Down could really grow on me. Um, Boomerang, you know, I, I like that song. I think I've played it so many times as a single to where I'm not necessarily, uh, like I said, it's not my go-to. I'm not going to go to that right this second. But within sequence, this whole project is very, very, very solid. Um especially for a debut i couldn't ask for anything more this is what i i mean respectively they're in two different lanes of music but um i wanted her the artist to bring it like this like what we know her for with those eps that she was dropping back to back to back is not what she does now now granted I mean, as you guys know, I, with my Kanye versus Drake videos, um, change is always good. So I'm not faulting her for that. And then also timing too. I feel like her album should have been dropped fall, like September, October, even November. Like it just gives that leaves falling, just get you in that mood. This album was perfectly timed from Yeba. Um, and if somebody was to really ask me, like, did you feel like you needed more from her? I would literally say no. Like, this was everything that I needed to hear from this project. I highly recommend you guys check this out for yourself. I know I did a lot of talking, so I apologize, but that's what a reaction video is. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm, I didn't forget, I'm going to actually let you hear uh, Dixon's, uh, one of Dixon's songs here. His name, um, his real name is Darius Scott, and that's what he used to go by, but he changed it recently to uh, just Dixon. It just gives it more of a, you know, artist, separates the artist from the actual person. I think he was on The Voice as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but here, we're gonna do that now so you guys could check that out. So this song is called uh, Two Seconds Slash Sober. Um, I'm gonna let you guys hear the uh, first half of it. I could forget you in two seconds, baby, don't you forget. It's the same two seconds it takes you to get mad. You start saying things I know you never would say if you were so bad. But you should know, girl, you could be leaving in two seconds, baby. Don't you forget. It's the morning after, I'm just saying what you said. I hope while you were talking shit, you had to play. i
that's just one song. I mean, this whole project is very cohesive as well. So, and I and he's been doing a lot of background work. I mean, he just actually um, dropped the album this year back in February. I didn't really get a chance, or at least an EP. I didn't check that one out just yet, but when you guys get a chance, check out that Young album. It is really, really good. I think you guys will really enjoy it, especially if you're listening to me react to Yubba. So, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. More reactions coming soon. Um, more videos coming soon. Until next time, peace.